Four signs. God is changing you. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. Four signs. God is changing you. <laughs> now, understand something, family. When you are changing, it will feel different. When you are changing, you know, you won't feel like your normal self. But see, that's how it's supposed to feel, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm changing. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I am changing, okay? And so we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video, y'all. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. So, number one, y'all, the first sign you are changing or God is changing you is going to be this, family, your daily habits. Yes, sir. They're changing. Okay? Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, it is your daily habits, okay, that are changing you or is a clear indication that God is changing you, all right? And so let me just go ahead and break it down like this, y'all. Maybe last year, 2023, yep, you, you used to sleep all day, okay? You used to watch TV all day, okay? You used to do all the things that was not moving the needle for your life, all right? But now... You know, your daily habits are changing And maybe you are starting with baby steps Maybe you're starting to go to the gym all right. Maybe you're starting to go for a little walk. OK, maybe you're starting to, you know, set goals and actually reach those goals that you have set. OK, that right there is an accomplishment in itself. I'm going to just be straight up honest with y'all. That right there is an accomplishment straight up for yourself. OK, and so I want to go ahead and get directly into the scripture on this, y'all, so y'all can understand this on a spiritual level as well. So right here in Second Corinthians chapter five, OK, uh, verse 17, it says this right here, family. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. OK, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All right. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 17. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new new all right and so don't that sound familiar with your life when you look at it on a spiritual level okay don't that sound familiar with your life you know that you're not doing the things you used to do in the past okay now you are do now you have created all right new habits and see the old things that you used to do they have passed away and since you have become one with christ now all things that you've done or that you do currently are now new OK, follow what I'm saying, y'all. Your, your daily habits have changed. OK, understand that. And if your daily habits have changed, y'all drop in the comments and give yourself, you know, some type of kudos, some type of applause. Give yourself a round of applause in the, in, in the comments, y'all. OK, because you have to understand that your growth, it was not easy. You know, the, the change is not easy. I understand that. But the fact that you have taken, you know, the, the proper steps, OK, to start changing uh, your daily habits, that is a great sign that God God is changing you and not only that y'all but you have uh started your execution on your life all right but with that being said y'all moving on to the next one number two it's gonna be this family you are now eating different yes sir let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back you are now eating different okay and so this right here a lot of people probably won't take serious, but I need y'all to take this part serious, okay? Because your body is a temple, and before, you know, I uh, get to that scripture, I want you to understand that we're going to read, you know, exactly what it says in the Bible about that. But before we get to that scripture, understand this right here, y'all. Maybe you just used to pizza it out all the time, okay? There's nothing wrong with eating a little Domino's, y'all. I eat Domino's. There's nothing wrong with eating a little Pizza Hut, you know? Well, back in the day, the, the good Pizza Hut, okay? But the point is, y'all, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with rewarding yourself or eating you know um uh, some fast food a little bit but when that becomes your daily routine you know now you're becoming what you eat <laughs> but see when you're when you're starting to eat different now you're starting to think different okay do y'all ever think about the fact when you eat the dead it's almost like you are dead not physically but spiritually you're not able to see clearly okay this is why when you fast, you, you're probably at your sharpest when you fast. 
Okay? Um, understand something, y'all. When you are eating the dead, you become the living dead. Yes, sir. When you are eating the dead, you become the living dead. And this is why it's good to have vegetables in your diet. This is why it's good to have greens in your diet. Okay, a lot of vegetations in your diet. All right? I'm not saying you got to go vegan. Okay, but what I am saying is you must respect the body that uh, God has created for you. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? So uh, a, a clear indication that God is changing you is the fact that you are now eating different. So, Reno, give me some examples of eating different. Let me just say this, y'all. Maybe you went from uh, preservatives in a can. Now you're eating frozen vegetables or fresh vegetables. That's a, a clear indication that God is changing you off the rip because that right there itself is growth because canned goods has uh, preservatives inside them, okay? I'm just giving y'all some examples. I ain't trying to take y'all to, you know, food or culinary ed, all right? I'm just saying, just giving y'all some examples. You know, another example, maybe you were, you know, eating a whole bunch of junk food, but now you say, you know what? I take my temple a little bit more serious. Let me throw some fruit in that thing. Okay, let me throw some fruit in my body because again, y'all, we only get one vehicle, okay, and that's called the body. And you gotta take care of that because that's what you have that's gonna take take you through life. Okay, that's all you have. But right here in the scripture, y'all, it says this right here, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, verse 19 through 20. It tells you this right here, family. It says, Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Of the Holy Spirit who is in you Okay uh, it says whom you have From God and you are not your Own it's asking the question then it Also goes forward to say for you were Brought at a price therefore Glorify God in your body And in your spirit which Are God's okay and so with that being Said it's speaking about how important your Your, your body is it's, it's speaking About how important you know your Temple is okay the, the Holy Spirit comes into your body Okay, and it won't be able to enter in your body if you fill it up with barbecue chips, if you fill it up with Doritos. You know, it, it may sound funny, y'all, but the things you eat determines how you think, determines the results you get within life. Okay, and so a clear indication or a big sign that God is changing you is now you are eating differently. Okay, understand that. Uh, moving on to the third one, family, it's gonna be this, y'all. Um, you are making better choices. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you are making better choices, okay? So you remember when you was arguing with your boyfriend and you used to want to bust his tires, okay? Terrible choice. Terrible choice. You remember when you was arguing with your girlfriend, bro, you wanted to put hands on it? Terrible choice, okay? Rina, what are you saying right now? Uh, you was allowing that temporary emotion to make you or even consider making a permanent decision, all right? These are terrible choices. But see, when God began to work on you, you begin to work on your inner being, you begin to work on your peace, and you begin to work on the decisions you make because you are conscious, okay? Maybe you have a kid that make you think different. Like, man, I got my kid. What, what, I'm, going, what I'm doing, you know, uh, putting myself behind bars or what am I doing considering on killing somebody because they made me hurt for this smaller period of time when five years from now, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna be thinking about it, okay? Follow what I'm saying, y'all. Um, God is working on you, okay? And he is changing you. And the clear indication, y'all, is the simple fact that you are now making better choices, okay? See, right here, y'all, in the scripture, it tells you this as well about making uh, better choices. It says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, it says, And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to man. Let me say it once again, y'all, so y'all can understand that. Louder for my chosen ones in the back. It says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, okay? And so what that scripture is basically saying is, y'all, remember the choices you make, okay? You're making them for the Lord and not for men, not for uh, human beings or mankind, okay? Understand what I'm saying, y'all. The decisions and the choices you make is for your higher power. It is for God, y'all. It is for El Shaddai, Elohim, Yahweh, Jehovah. Follow what I'm saying, y'all. Don't make the uh, don't make choices for men. Don't make choices for women. Don't make choices for mankind. Don't make choices for your family or friends. Don't make your choices because of your emotions. Okay, make choices because you know that that's what God would want you to do. 
Well, Rino, it gets so hard and difficult. I'm not saying that you're not human, okay? But what I am saying is y'all be self-conscious of the decisions you decide to make. And so with that being said, when you start thinking on a higher level, when you start thinking on a higher frequency, this means that God is changing you. Okay, and that's a great thing. Somebody drop in the comments and say, God is changing me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, God is changing me. Okay, I know this video right here is talking to somebody. And so if it is, y'all, y'all drop in the comments and let me know that as well. All right, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get to the last one, y'all, which is number four. And that's going to be this right here, y'all. You step into the higher version of yourself. Yep. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you stepped into the higher version of yourself. And so we're going to go ahead and get directly into the scripture on this one, y'all. So right here in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, it says this right here, y'all. It says, commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Yes, sir. That right there is one of my favorite scriptures. And by the way, y'all, I love Proverbs anyway. But right here in Proverbs, y'all, once again, uh, chapter 16, verse 3, it says, Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Okay? Reno, what is it saying right now? Um, when you begin to commit the things that you think about, when you begin to commit, you know, your dreams, your desires, when you begin, when you begin to commit yourself, okay, to the Lord, okay, you will be established as well as your thoughts. And so with that being said, I need you to understand that's going to cause you to step into the high your version of yourself okay well reno how do i know i'm beginning to step into the higher version of myself well again y'all you're going to experience change within your diet change and within the people you decide to hang around changing within the things that you are willing to accept changing in terms of your standards okay that's another big thing and a lot of times y'all we don't set no type of standards no type of boundaries we just accept anything less than who we are right follow what i'm saying y'all you are being worked on and god is changing you currently as we speak and so i need you to understand something y'all you have stepped into the higher version of yourself and this right here is good okay and let me say this y'all Sometimes you are going to backslide, okay? I'm not telling you to do it, and I'm not saying that you should. I'm just saying as a human, sometimes you may make the mistake. Sometimes you may fall short, okay? But it's not about how we fall down. It's about how we get back up. And so I need you to understand something. God is changing you, and you are continuously growing every single day, all right? And so with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and do a recap, and then we'll conclude this video. So... Four signs God is changing you, y'all. The first sign is your daily habits. Second sign, you're beginning to eat different. Number three, better choices, okay? And number four, you stepped into the higher version of yourself, all right? And so if any one of these signs resonated with you, y'all, y'all be sure to drop in the comments and let me know. I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. And if y'all are looking to purchase any one of my books, enroll into my social influence course or to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, be sure to click the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace.